after serious injuries at a concert at Northerly Island. Now there are questions about how a weapon got inside the pavilion. Good evening. I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. That weapon, a knife. And despite security at the gate, someone managed to bring it inside. Taking a look now from Chopper 2 over Northerly Island, where people are already lining up for another concert tonight following last night's violence. CBS 2's Roseanne Taya spoke with one of the victims. She joins us live from Northerly Island. Roseanne, will fancy any changes in security tonight? Not that we know of, Erica, although um, no one's really outlined officially what the security protocol is here. We can tell you that the people entering tonight are being wanded, their bags are being checked, but still somehow somebody last night got a knife in and ended the concert early and violently for at least two people. A night out listening to live music with friends. These photographs show how close to the stage one of the victims was until she momentarily got caught up in a scuffle between two men and saw a knife hit the ground. That's when I looked down and I was like, I think I might have got stabbed. <laughs> And then my son's like, oh my gosh, you're bleeding. Yes, you did. The 34-year-old victim doesn't want to be identified, but says she didn't know either man. And in a crowd with parents, kids, and several wheelchairs could not believe what happened. I mean, that's something I'm going to think about for the rest of my life. I'm going to take to see a show. This guy had a gash between here, and he was bleeding pretty bad. The victim's friend shoved her own daughter out of the way. It's just a shame that one guy can ruin a good time for, like, multiple people, you know, and just give that seem like a bad name. It wasn't that type of environment at all. Given what Office. happened, would you like to see them beef up security? I would like to be able to go to a venue and feel safe. Live Nation said in a statement that safety is their highest priority. We are reviewing our search procedures and working with the Chicago Police Department to better understand the circumstances surrounding the incident. I did have a chance to talk to our CBS security analyst, Ross Rice. He told me that those wands are only as good as the people using them and said the walkthrough metal detectors are actually far more effective. I can also tell you tonight that police did arrest a suspect and they recovered a knife. The victim, the other victim, is going to be okay as well. Reporting live from Northerly Island, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. Okay, Roseanne, thank you.